in the blink of an eye, the tranquil city of Clarksville was plunged into chaos as a powerful tornado tore through its heart. Today, I will take you on a journey through the trail of destruction left by this F3 tornado. With winds reaching 150 miles per hour, it carved a path 600 yards wide and 11.33 miles long. Let us dive into the harrowing details of this catastrophic event.
7.41 p.m. The tornado made its initial contact with the Earth at Fort Campbell, just north of Sabre Airfield. Although it caused minor tree damage, the tornado swiftly intensified as it crossed Walnut Grove Road, demolishing a building adjacent to a church. Uh, this building was none other than the Clarksville School of Fine Arts. Continuing its relentless path, the tornado headed northeast wreaking havoc in a neighborhood along Garrettsburg Road near the Purple Heart Highway. At this point, it had intensified into an F2 tornado with winds reaching 120 miles per hour.
walking through a heavily wooded neighborhood south of Britain Springs Road. The tornado left a trail of destruction in its wake. Dozens of mobile and manufactured homes were torn apart. Crossing into another neighborhood near Eve Drive, the tornado caused severe damage with houses shifted off their foundations, held together by nothing more than straight nails.
intensity of the tornado escalated further as it crossed Highway 41, striking several commercial businesses. A vacant fast food restaurant and a strip mall were reduced to mere shells, with only the interior remaining. Just east of Highway 41, north of Ringgold Road, another neighborhood bore the brunt of the tornado's wrath. Numerous homes sustained significant damage while the tornado gathered strength, intensifying to an F3 tornado with winds of 150 miles per hour. Four two-story brick and vinyl siding homes on Henry Place Boulevard were completely destroyed, tragically claiming the lives of Donna Allen, 59, from Florida, and young Arlen Cody, just 10 years old.
debris from the tornado was carried across the field towards West Creek Elementary School, causing roof damage and further adding to the destruction. As the tornado crossed Peachers Mill Road, brand new two-story brick apartment homes still in their infancy were severely damaged with roofs missing from at least a dozen structures. Dozens more houses suffered significant roof damage along Needmore Road and Tiny Town Road, categorized as F2 damage. tornado continued its relentless path, uprooting numerous cedar trees as it crossed Interstate 24 at Trenton Road. Continuing across Tylertown Road, it caused varying degrees of roof and siding damage to dozens of homes across three neighborhoods before finally moving into Kentucky.
strong across the state line at 1.56 p.m., leaving behind a 15-minute tornado event that forever changed the lives of the people in its wake. The impact was devastating. Montgomery County Emergency Management Agency reported that 243 residential sites were completely destroyed, while an additional 1711 suffered damage. It is important to note that a residential site could refer to an individual home or a housing unit, such as a duplex or apartments. Tornado ravaged 1,974 residential sites, 58 commercial sites, and three public facilities, leaving behind a landscape of destruction and heartbreak.
recovery may be long and arduous, but the spirit of resilience burns bright within the community of Clarksville. Together they will rebuild, support one another, and rise from the ashes stronger than ever before.